Hello and welcome to another Transformers video review. This time we're going to be reviewing the differences between the Takara Masterpiece Grimlock and the US Masterpiece Grimlock. Uh, there you see the US Masterpiece Grimlock and we all know what the Takara looks like. I'm going to be going over some of the differences with it and uh, stuff like that and just some comparisons. So there's the US in box. The Japanese version comes in the standard black masterpiece box and is packaged in robot mode without a window. That's pretty much the only difference in packaging. Okay so just starting off the Takara ones on the left and the US one is on the right. A very slight difference in the shade of gray. The Takara one's a little bit lighter gray. Not too much. The Hasbro one's a slightly darker shade of gray, not really that noticeable really, un except under the light. Uh, the Autobot sticker seems to be a little bo bit more pronounced on the US version. And if you look closely at his legs, you see he has some stripes right here, which is a little bit more accurate to G1 on the Hasbro version. Now about, about the, I'm going to compare the hands for you. The Takara one, sharp blades. The Hasbro ones are a little bit rounded off, but not too much. Try and zoom in on that, see if you can see it. It'd be easier if I put this over here. So while the Takara ones are a little bit sharper and the Hasbro is a little bit rounded off, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. Same thing goes for the teeth. The Hasbro one has slightly rounded teeth. See they don't come to a full point. And the Hasbro one, which I have his eyes blue, come to a sharper point. It's really not that big of a deal in a toy or defect display or anything. But those are the main differences in robot modes. Um, the accessories are a lot different too with the US version of Grimlock you get his crown with the masterpiece J Japanese version you get his waiter outfit and his Computron brain transfer cable and the Takara one also comes with a little bow tie to go with his waiter outfit and a little tray of drinks these are not included with the Hasbro version it was one one of the episodes I don't know which episode it was and also you get his brain transfer cable which goes right on the top of his head and there's a little peg on there to get it to stay and there's a suction cup on this end that you can connect to Computron or whatever you want it's not sticking a Grimlock but he does have the brain transfer cable, which was in Grimlock's new brain, and he does have the waiter outfit. Outside of that, those are the accessories. Now Grimlock does come with a crown that used in robot mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show off the robot modes now. One thing I did want to show off with both of these, you have the choice of cartoon or toy accurate eyes. So if you want red, you have red. You lift up this piece on his head. And inside there, you just turn these around and snap into place. Now you have blue eyes. Real easy to do. And one of the things that's interesting about this too is when you have them like this, whoops, that didn't work. If you have his head down, Sorry, a little out of focus there. And press down on his legs, his face will go up. It's it's kind of hard to notice, but face down, push his legs, goes up. Another thing about it, you twist his tail, his head will turn, so he can look if you have it straight to begin with. The Sakara one seems to be a little bit better working than there we go. Now it's moving. You twist his tail and his face will turn. It's a pretty cool feature. And you can have him standing tall like this, or if you want to put him in a real T-Rex pose. 
like this. You can put them in a pose like that too. Even more menacing. Now to transform this guy, pretty straightforward. Want to open up these panels. Flip his head back. Kind of just tuck his arms in. Doesn't really matter where you put his arms. They're going to go behind his back. I just like to fold them back, keep them getting them out of the way. These panels go behind here. Feet and the tail separate. You can see this starting to come together. I'm going to lift this up and this up. And this piece is going to fold up. And that's going to fold down, down, and around. This is going to go in. Once you get this up, that's how that's going to go. Same thing on the other side. We're going to fold this back, tuck this down and in. Fold this, it goes in there and locks. The foot piece will swivel down. You do that on the other side too. And so then you want to turn him around, lift up his chest, his joints are very tight, nice ratcheting joints, his, his chest pulls, pulls up and snaps down into place, and for the hands you want to open these. Flip down the hands. And then get them in a pose. Sometimes it's hard to get the legs right. It's very tight. Once you get him posed, he's very, very solid. And that's pretty much it for transformation. So now we're going to bring over the Takara version. And as you can see, the parts on the legs for the G1 colors are not on the Takara version. Okay, so those are the main differences. There is a minor difference with the sword. I can't seem to locate my Masterpiece sword. It's in a park bin somewhere because I display them in robot mode for the Takara version. But there is a slight difference. There's a button right under his arm right here that if you press whatever's it's actually under here I don't know if you can see that make it darker a little bit you can see the sword light up red so the sword lights up anything you put in his hand lights up actually the gun also lights up you can pose with that you can actually hold the sword in his other hand if you want him to. Actually that hand doesn't hold very good. There is a tab. Okay, that's what it is. There's a little pin right there that goes into this pin right here. And that's on the gun and the sword to make him able to hold it in his left hand. Because his left hand is articulated and the right hand is just not. Okay, so he has his sword. I'm going to go ahead and show you the gun lit up. You see the gun tips lighting up. Let me shut off the lights again. See the tips of the gun light up when you press the button. So all in all, he's a great figure. If you really want the extra accessories for the Takara version and pay over $100 for it, I say go for it. I got it at TFCon last year and I'm, I don't regret it. I like having the extra features, but I also do like this Grimlock as well. But really, the only major difference is those little stripes. I mean, you could even put stickers on Masterpiece Grimlock from Takara and get the same effect. Um, but just for a quick comparison review, those are the major differences. 
Uh, the sword might be a little bit more pointy on the Takara version. I really apologize. I can't find that. I just went through the box, my parts bin, and everything in the meantime. And uh, I know it's somewhere, but I just don't know where. So, like I said, I haven't just played in dino mode for the last year. Uh, anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this review pointed out a couple of the differences and to be honest guys the teeth and the claws really don't make that much of a difference uh, the sword is really nice on uh, the Toys R Us Grimlock I can't remember how different the Takara one was but I really like the sword I think I think there is a difference there I just can't remember what it was um, but all in all this is a really great figure and if you can find them at Toys R Us or get them close to retail I know that scalpers are buying these up and there's hundreds of them on eBay they're having a hard time selling them so um, if you can pick this guy up definitely worth adding to your collection for a good price and it just depends on whether or not you want those extra add-ons from the Takara version uh, otherwise there is a slight difference here you bring this guy in If you look at his hip panels, these are outlined with black, and these are just plain silver. To be honest with you, I like the black a little better. There's also some silver on his thigh that's not present on the Takara. So if you ask me, I think the Hasbro Masterpiece Grimlock from Toys R Us is a little bit more detailed. And while it does lack some accessories, I think it overall as a display piece shines a little better unless you really need that waiter suit bow tie and the tray full of drinks which I prefer the crown and I'll show you the crown now okay so I was told this goes on his dino mode I'm gonna check it out but here's his crown and it does seem to have a jewel like a little nub on the back that goes in the back the flat big tall triangle piece goes in the front and just goes right on his head now that's something that the Takara one does not have is that crown unless you got the e-hobby one or whatever but I think he looks really cool with that crown me Grimlock me King so it's it's a trade-off you want the crown you get the Toys R Us version you want the waiter stuff you get the other version so if you display him in uh, his uh, dinosaur mode his all mode it's nice to have the accessories with the waiter kit if you really wanted to display them like that. It's cool, but the novelty honestly wears off after having them for a year. I just have those parts in a drawer and have them displayed as a regular dino. Uh, I think in robot mode, the Toys R Us one really shines with the extra paint apps and the crown just really make this figure. Uh, so hopefully this has given you some insight on both these figures. And... Uh, I definitely like both versions, but if I had to honestly choose one to buy now, I'd probably say Toys R Us. I know they skimped on the accessories, but it was also about half the price. I think I paid $135 for mine, and these are going for $69.99 at Toys R Us. So, you know, it's a lot cheaper than to get a Takara version, and plus you have much better detail and paint apps in robot mode, and you have a crown if you display them in robot mode. So it all comes down to personal preference, and I really think that the Toys R Us version is not as bad as people thought it was with the, you know, the softened teeth and the softened claws it's really not that big of a deal I mean if you didn't have the other one you wouldn't even notice it it's it's not really that noticeable so I give this guy a definite 9.5 out of 10 incredible incredible modes uh, both modes are very G1 accurate the crown is just amazing um, I didn't have the crown before and now I have the crown for this guy um, but I just really like this guy the light up features the sword and the crown and these these little details right here on the Toys R Us version the red there the silver the outline in black uh, that's car version has these colors here but um, just the paint apps alone I mean it just it made makes up for not having those accessories I think um, in robot mode if you display him in robot mode he looks incredible so thanks again guys thanks for watching and if you like what you see subscribe